so here is the solution for model question paper 2 of a principle of communication system so here is the first question that is uh, a random variable is said to be uniformly distributes over the interval a, a and b determine the probability density function of uh, uh, uniformly distributed rv so this is the six marks question this is the answer for that refer by pausing the video Uh, ne the next question is determine the characteristic function of a uh, Gaussian random variable with a uh, with a given mean of uh, given mean and variance. This is a eight marks question. Next question is prove the following uh, two properties of autocorrelation function and uh, of a random process so this is the proof for first sub question if x of t uh, contain a dc component equal to a and uh, then rx of t will co contain the constant of amplitude e equal to a2 this is the proof of uh, first property and the second property is if f of t contains sinusoidal component then R of rx of t will also contain sinusoidal component of uh, the same frequency so this is uh, the proof for second property next question is define correlation covariance and uh, correlation coefficient this is four marks question so definite this is the definition of uh, co correlation correlation is a measure of measure of the uh, similarity yeah. or relationship between two signal or database it quantify how much uh, one signal resemble another and uh, it and is used to determine the presence of a strength and direction of linear relationship between the signals and uh, here is a co covariance it gives joint it gives joint expectation of uh, two of the variables x and y uh, it denotes in denoted by the symbol lambda xy this is the formula for that co covariance of uh, x x and y is uh, lambda xy where mx is mean of a random variable x and my is mean of random variable y and these are constant next is a covariance coefficient uh, it is a measure of dependency bit dependency between random variable x and y it is defined as ratio of a covariance uh, that is uh, lambda xy uh, here in the question only definition is asked uh, for four marks question then till here it is enough this is for uh, reference you can take this next is explain central limit th limit theorem as applied to Gaussian random process so the central limit theorem provides mathematical justification for uh, using a Gaussian process as a model for a large number of different physical phenomena in which the observed random variable uh, at a particular instead of time is, is the result of large number of individual random events distribution of uh, y of i uh, based on n is equal to 1 n is equal to 10 n is equal to 20 n is equal to 70 so these are the different waveform for uh, these n is equal to terms and this is the equation for uh, central limit theorem 
next question is to see define auto correlation function and cross correlation function prove the state and prove the properties of uh, auto correlation function so this is the uh, definition for auto correlation it is a random process f x of t uh, is the expectation of uh, product of the two random variables that is the x x of t1 and x of t2 obtained by observing x of t at time t1 and t2 and this is the equation for that and here cross correlation let us consider two random process x of t and y of t then there is a cross correlation function of a random process that is x t and uh, y of t is given by x r uh, x y uh, t1 t2 is equal to epsilon x t1 and x t2 and these are the properties of autocorrelation mainly there are three properties and this is the uh, proof for uh, these properties this is the next question from module 2 3a uh, explain the amplitude modulation in a time domain and frequency domain with necessary expression and uh, illustrations so here first amplitude modulation is a process of uh, altering the amplitude of a carrier signal uh, with respect to instantaneous value of a message signal by keeping frequency and phase as of a carrier signal constant so this is the equation for a message signal uh, take this as equation one uh, where am is amplitude of message signal and fm is frequency of message signal and this is the equation for uh, carrier signal uh, take this as equation 2 and here ac is amplitude of carrier signal and fc is the frequency of carrier signal and this is the equation for modulated signal uh, take this as equation 3 and here uh, it consists both the carrier and uh, message signal so here instead of mt uh, we will substitute the modulating signal this that is equation 1 so substitute uh, equation 1 in uh, 3 so we will get uh, this equation uh, from here k from here k am uh, we can replace by mu that is uh, modulation index so after that we will get, get this equation after that uh, we will multiply ac and uh, cos 2 pi ft fc t uh, to uh, this equation and from this uh, we will get this uh, final equation here uh, cos 2 pi ft and cos 2 pi f mt is there so we can use uh, this identity cos uh, a and cos b so we will get that uh, final equation as uh, this is the equation for uh, s of t that is uh, modulate modulating signal and this is the final equation for uh, time domain and for frequency domain we will uh, apply Fourier transform to this equation after applying this we will get the, this equation so so this is the waveform for uh, spectrum representation here this is am by 2 and this is negative fm this is positive fm that is frequency and here mod for modulated uh, output uh, here usb is upper side band and lsp is lower side band and here also same and this is for uh, frequency domain and this is for uh, time domain here you can see uh, the a for uh, modulated signal message signal am is there you can refer this next question is with the necessary uh, schematic necessary schematic of uh, square law circuit and expression 
explain the generation of AM so this is square law diode modulator circuit uh, here on VC and uh, PM is there and diode RL for load and output is AM this circuit we will use to uh, generate AM signals and here uh, some equations are there that is VC is equal to VM is equal to and I is equal to AV plus uh, BV, BV square and this is the explanation for uh, this uh, circuit and here the waveform that is AM waveform that we will get as an output from this circuit uh, next question is generate a MATLAB code uh, to uh, to generate uh, amplitude amplitude modulation and demodulation waveform and display the spectrum so this is the code for uh, amplitude modulation as well as uh, demodulation both uh, modulation and demodulation you will write in the same code you can write in same code and uh, plot the graph like this uh, modulating signal carrier signal am modulated signal and uh, uh, demodulated signal this is the output for uh, this code next question is for a uh, an am transmitter uses high level modulator the final rf power amplifier so here uh, vcc is given and uh, current and uh, efficiency percentage is given so we need to find rf input uh, power to the final stage so this is the formula for uh, rf power that is a pi is equal to vcc i uh, so vcc and i is given so substitute here so we will get the p value and uh, next thing it is asked that uh, how much power is required to 100 percent modulation so this is for 100 percent modulation pm is equal to uh, pi by 2 so we will get 84 watt it is uh, required for 100 percent uh, modulation so the next question is uh, explain the diagram of amplitude demodulator using a diode detector so this question i already explained in uh, model paper one uh, so i will uh, tell in briefly this is a simplest and most uh, widely used uh, amplitude demodulator uh, is a diode detector so this is a circuit for a diode detector it contains uh, diode and uh, one rc rc filter and input is uh, am signal this is also called an called envelope detector so here uh, in carrier signal we can see both uh, positive and negative half is there so we only want uh, positive half cycle so here uh, for that one diode is there it will uh, reverse bias in negative half cycle and forward bias in positive half cycle so we will get only the positive half of the carrier frequency so uh, from this RC filter, uh, this uh, smooth curve is uh, we obtained that is the envelope produced by charging and discharging of uh, C1 that is the capacitor. So, this is the explanation. And this is the uh, sum of the equations. And next question is working of a lattice type balanced modulator so this is a circuit for lattice modulator and uh, these are the components that is uh, diode is present that is d1 d2 d3 d4 and uh, two transformers are present that is t1 and t2 and next thing is a carrier oscillator here this is a carrier oscillator and modulating signal this is the input signal uh, to the lattice modulator next is working so here diode conduction so d1 and d2 is a forward bias and while it is a forward bias d3 and d4 is reverse bias and does not conduct electricity and 
when uh, d3 and d4 is uh, forward bias d1 and d2 is reverse bias and from that uh, we will get the output uh, generation uh, from uh, secondary winding that is from uh, t2 and from this uh, carrier oscillation uh, it will generate uh, carrier signal which is typically higher frequency uh, sinusoidal wave 